Britain's 800-year-old parliament is creaking under the colossal decision it has to make this week. How and when to Brexit? It's less than three weeks until the UK is supposed to leave, and all that's guaranteed is the pomp and pageantry. This is how it all starts. Division! Not a reference to a nation split over the merits of EU membership, but the Speaker announcing a vote. Lawmakers or MPs choose a corridor to shuffle down. This one's for the nose, and there's another for the eyes, as tellers count them. It takes about 15 minutes. Longer than that, and the sergeant at arms will be along with his ceremonial sword to investigate. That's him with the five-foot-long mace that marks the start of the day's proceedings. Order! First up, Order. Tuesday. Prime Minister Theresa May puts her revised Brexit clear? deal before Parliament after a historic defeat to and sent her to back the to the drawing board. So the have it. If that vote fails, she'll hold another, asking lawmakers if they'd like to leave without any kind of deal. An abrupt divorce that could shake the world's fifth largest economy. If that's a no, there'll be a third ballot on Thursday. This time, it'll be I or no to delaying Brexit. An I could open the door to reversing the whole thing. Many Remainers now want another referendum, a so-called people's vote. Brexiters say, though, we had a people's vote when Britons voted to leave in 2016. That referendum fractured cities, villages, even families, and Parliament too. The crumbling exterior of the Palace of Westminster, echoing the erosion within its walls of a century of right versus left party politics. So, two years on, you might think there'd be a plan. But May has no majority in Parliament and relies on uneasy bedfellows who've hated her Brexit plan so far. She's been buying time, but now it's running out. And this week's results will be anybody's guess.